Parshas Chukas. Before we start speaking on the Parsha, I'd like to say something about the current events. During the past three weeks, the third world has become impoverished. We have lost three very, very great G'dayli Israel. Um, Rav Kappelman from Lucerne, Switzerland, and Hagoyen Reb Michal Yehuda Lefkowitz from Bnei Brak, and from Tel Aviv Yeshiva Hagoyen Reb Chaim Stein. So perhaps we can just we might learn a little bit something from this. First thing that maybe we could learn from this is that. In our generation, so far from, from everything, we can have such tremendous, powerfully G'dayli Israel, even in our generation. And perhaps it's upon us that this maybe should be an incentive to try harder to become G'dayli Israel because we can. We see it happened right now our own generation getting to the Parsha I think we could see here a tremendous incentive not to, not to sin not to commit sins what can we what can we do to stop ourselves from doing a sin from committing a sin we have a temptation to do something and we can't seem to stop what what thought can we plant into our minds to help us deter us from committing the sin? It says in the Torah, in this parsha Chukas, that Moshe Rabbeinu was told <coughs> to speak to the rock, Vidibartem Alasela, speak to the rock, and and water will come out. Meshe Rabbeinu did a little bit different. He hit the rock, he smote the rock, and um, for the war, and the water came out. And it says in the Torah, incredibly, that Yan Rohar Mantendi, since we didn't believe in him, since he didn't believe in me, to sanctify my name the way I wanted it. You will not bring in the Kla Yisrael and Teretz Yisrael. And the question is, who are we talking about here? Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron. Is it possible to say about them that they didn't have a Bashem, they didn't have faith and belief in Hashem. Yan lo yihem mantem bi, since you didn't believe in me. It's written for eternity, it's written for all generations. Such words against Moshe and Aaron, and such punishment that the actual writing in the Torah for all eternity is a tremendous embarrassment, a tremendous punishment to Moshe and Aaron. And the second punishment is they will not enter at Israel. They will not bring in Kal Yisrael into Eretz Israel. They will not. Ent- they will not themselves come into Eretz Israel. And the question is, what did they do here? What did they do wrong? All the Mefarshim are groping to find out exactly what sin they committed. They can't seem to. They can't seem to. A gra- to, to, to grasp it all the Mepharshim nobody has clarity that means that the sin that the sin of hitting the rock rather than speaking to the rock was so thin like a thin strand they could barely 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 touch it feel it they, they can't understand such a such a such a incompre- incomprehensible sin for that, they deserve such punishment that that 
that the Rabbanu Shalom says about them that they have no faith in me for eternity to, to, to have that written in the Holy Torah and isn't, isn't the punishment way disproportionate since, since it's a sin there was a sin there was a sin because they're being punished but the sin was such a thin strand of a sin um, the punishment seems way out of proportion and the second punishment also seems way out of proportion that for this reason they will not enter Eretz Israel because they committed the sin but we see from here that even a thin incomprehensible sin bears such punishment and this could be a deterrent to us we can't say well I'm, doing, I'm, only, I'm only committing a small sin uh, do we first of all we don't know what small sin but we don't know what a small sin is we don't know it's a large sin but, but uh, even for a small inc- incomprehensible sin the punishment is so way out of proportion and this perhaps can be a deterrent to us before and when we have a temptation to sin perhaps this is the thing that should enter our minds it's not worth it look at the consequences look at what Mesha and Mesha and Aaron did and nevertheless look at the tremendous seemingly disproportionate uh, punishment so this can be a deterrent to help us stop doing sins Shem should help us we should be Zeicha to control ourselves overcome any temptations we have not to, not to sin because the consequences are absolutely not worth it.